Hey Setsu Bitches, I'm Jesse Garcia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing almost a full face of makeup using 99 Set Store Beauty products. And I say almost because I couldn't find foundation, powder, or concealer. So we're going to be using the ones that I always use. So let's get down to it. So I'm at the 99 Set Store right now and I found highlighter. Huh. Highlighter. There's two highlighters, highlighter stick and then some other type of highlighter. I found a contour palette and we're gonna keep looking for more. So I will update you right now. Double ended pencil liner, we got this. My phone's about to die, but I got eyeshadow, blush and more. So I got all that I needed and I will keep doing the video at home. So I will see you back there. So besides what I couldn't find, I found everything else. I found lipstick, I found lip liners, I got eyeshadow, I got highlighters. And the thing is that there were different brands. So I got like three highlighters, one of each brand, and a couple lipsticks and this and that. But I will show you, you know, throughout the video in every step that we do. So I had bought everything, but then someone commented on one of my posts on Facebook that I should be using brushes from the 99 cent store also because they want to see how those brushes work with those products because it's true maybe um, the brushes that I use are different from those so I went back the next day and I got a set of brushes um, that came in this box I had opened it already this was $2.99 the brand is basic beauty simple elegance and it says essential brushes seven piece set 100% vegan, not tested on animals. That's pretty cool. That's pretty nice. Bonus, a makeup bag. So I'm going to show you. This is the makeup bag. Right here it says basic beauty. And I must say that this plastic is actually, it feels pretty nice. Look, it's like, it's like, it feels like good quality. Like, of course, I wouldn't buy this for $360. Fucking Kylie. And here are the brushes. So we have a powder brush, foundation brush, crease, eyeshader, lip brush, and the brow stick. I'm gonna be doing my concealer and my foundation and the powder. So I'll probably just go fast through this. For my concealer, I'm gonna use my beauty blender, but for the foundation, I'm gonna use the, the brush right here and the powder brush for the powder, of course. I'm going in with my Too Faced concealer. Cause I do think about you. No, 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 no. So on top of my Too Faced concealer, I'm gonna go in with my CoverGirl loose powder. And of course, I'm gonna be using the powder brush. To be a powder brush, this brush is too small. Like, it's annoying me. Now let's go in with my foundation. And of course with this foundation brush that I'm scared. I'm really, really scared, like girl. I stopped using foundation brushes because I didn't like that my makeup will come off like with streaky and stuff like that. Oh, like this. It looks alright, I guess. To me, it looks streaky. On the camera, it looks good. Okay, let's keep going. We're gonna do a little bit more powder. Oh, I swear, this step takes so long because of this small ass brush. Looks like my face is set. So for eyeshadow we have this single one from SNM. The brand is called Smoke and Mirrors 
and then we have this two color eyeshadow it's named alisa it's from this brand that i found it's called remy rose it's really cute the package is packaging is adorable look remy rose lipstick and they have different names mia tina and madison and like each product has a different name like this lip liner it's called vivian this is an eyeshadow stick and it's called harlow so we have these two for eyeshadow we also have this eyeshadow palette probably gonna use the three of them combined this was $2.99 so let's open this up and let's swatch it so here's the palette oh lord see this can happen so i'm just gonna wipe clean this real quick so you can see it better okay here it is cleaner so this color right here is broken and this one this one has very little and this one is like you know right there these five right here at the bottom these are blush and all these are shimmers and they're <laughs> eyeshadow colors this is not tested on animals this car after 24 months ooh, ooh, this is ugly basic beauty and then we have this single one from smoke and mirrors and then we have that two color eyeshadow one from remy rose let's do some swatches the black color this one this one right here and let's do this one right here like i said these are all shimmers i must say they are pigmented as fuck that's for sure even my fingers are still like you know they still have some residue this is pigmented and they're soft they're really really soft let's swatch the other ones i'm gonna go in with this little purple guy right here and pigmented as fuck wow 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 let's do the remy rose ones we have these two colors one is like this greenish and then the other one is this brown wow totally different textures this are like brown one it's not as pigmented as i thought and then we have this other color that came with it this is nice it's like this glittery green goldish color it's really weird but it's nice i'm gonna apply a little bit of powder under my eyes So we're gonna go in with this color right here and put it down as a base. Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. I'm gonna lay this brown on my lid. this brush i'm gonna go in with the black and try to darken the crease and to give it more depth i'm gonna lay down this color right in my inner waterline so that color didn't work so i'm gonna go in with this color now i'm gonna go in with this color now right this thing is so chalky you can say because it went in my eye and i was able to pick the little piece with my finger that's not cool so this is a nice shadow stick i'm gonna try to use it right lower it is soft but look i'm able to take it off with my finger it's It's supposed to be eyeshadow it's so greasy and it comes off as patchy mm -hmm. no i don't like this just for the sake of it i'm gonna try it right here and let's go with a little black used to blend in the top and bottom let's wipe this off Oh, I also got this glitter pigment. It's purple, so maybe I will apply a little bit on my lid. 
Well, I bought a lot of stuff and it, I just paid like $30, which is pretty cool. I bought a highlighter palette, I bought a contour palette, an eyeshadow palette, a blush, a single one, a lip palette, and all these lipsticks. And oh, girl, I used to think it was good. It was a good sale. Let's do blush. So the blushes I have for this are gonna be from the eyeshadow palette and a single one from Smoke and Mirror. So let's go do this. Oh, this is soft. Do some swatches right here, right there. And okay, most pigmented one is this pink one, but the other ones are not bad. They have a lot of fallout. They do have a lot of fallout. That's for sure. I can tell you that. Here's the blush, and it says exposed. That's the name of this shade. So there it is. Wow. We're gonna go for this one. I normally do my contour first, but I wanted to try this really bad. I like to do my cheeks really red. It reminds me of my mom. She has like natural red cheeks. It's really pretty. Let's do contour. Here's a contour palette. This was $2.99 and these colors are scaring me. I hope this isn't broken. Oh, here. This one had a plastic. Let's get rid of that. Oh, it's a cream contour palette. Oh, fuck. I fucked up. And it's not black, it's just like a really dark brown, but in the packaging it looks black. So I was like, no, that's absolutely too dark for anyone. I think I might go with this color right here. These colors look like they have like a gray undertone. It's really weird. I don't like this. No, 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 no. This is an absolute no. This palette, it's a flop. Total flop. Oh, girl, girl. I'm gonna swatch for you now so you guys can see this. This cream contour palette, it's awful. Here are the shades. Swatch. This is gray. Like, no fucking way. This is gray. It's gray. Then we have an actual yellow. This dirty ass color. This is like the only skin color. And then we have... Look at this. This is also from that. This is also from the cream contour palette. Oh, no. This is... Oh. Oh. Ugh, what the fuck? It's so hard to work with it. I never get angry when doing makeup. This is the first time. So we're gonna skip on contour. Now, let's try this highlighter. I'm scared now, I'm scared. This is a highlighter palette. It's called Strobing Palette. There they are. Let's do some swatches before I put this on my face. One, two, three and so i can barely see four the four one i like they're not bad okay this is better where is it i guess this is like more of a subtle highlighter we have another two highlighters just in case like, I didn't know it was going to be this bad. Like, we were fine with the eyeshadow, the palette, the singles, they weren't bad. But then this happened. I feel like this contour fucked up my makeup. And I like how the eyeshadow looks. I like the pigment. It looks really pretty. I like it. But now, this. Like, we're doing so good, 99 cent store. We were doing so, so good. Okay, here it is. Uh, it's not bad, but I mean, oh fuck it. I mean, okay, this is better. It's not holographic. Oh, it's iridescent. Okay, I like this one. This is nice. It's smooth. Oh, it's so much better. Yeah, I like this one, and it's cute. It's a pretty look. How tiny it is. I know this is for the lips, but we're gonna use this real quick to apply a little highlighter on the eyes. 
A dual pencil liner, creamy formula, water resistant and long lasting, super creamy and pigmented. We have a gold and a black. Well, I mean, one side is gold and the other side is black. So let's try this. I went a little over the board with this liner, but it's because I'm gonna put on lashes. This is just as another black pencil liner. There's no big deal to it. Like, let me swatch both sides right here. Gold side. And black side. I mean, it's black, it's pigmented, it's smooth, it glides on smoothly. Liner, I guess it's fine. From this brand, Remy Rose, I was able to get lashes. We're gonna apply them real quick. And they come with a small tooth of eyelash glue. They're pretty, they look hard though. They look like really, really sturdy. Like they're gonna be really hard to apply on. You know what? I forgot to try this highlighter. Might as well, I mean, we're already here. This was the one. Oh, girl. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is the one. This is a good highlighter for $1. Oh my God, I love this. I'm obsessed. Ugh. These lashes are not like soft and able, you know, for you to move around. These are hard, like, you know, one of those like fake lashes that are like colorful enough for your daily wear. Now let's do lips, which is the last step. For lips, I have this 3D chromatic lip gloss. We have this color contour lip palette from Maybelline, which was $2. The lip gloss, this lip gloss was also $2. And then we also have the Remy Rose lipsticks. So we're gonna go in with the lip liner from Remy Rose. In the shape Vivian. This lip liner is so soft. Mia, yeah, Mia looks pretty. This smells really good. This lipstick is so soft, like I swear I'm upset with how soft it is. I must say this is the like the glitter inside this is like too chunky, it's too big, it feels weird on your lips. I don't like it. Once it's spread out, it doesn't look that bad, but I still, I'm not happy with it. So let's go over everything. So in total, I spent like $30 in everything that I bought. But remember, I bought a couple things of each. So, eyeshadow stick from Remy Rose. It's a dollar. I like that. It's not that bad, but it's too like oily and greasy. And like, it just comes off right away. It doesn't really stay or have any pigment. So, I mean, eh lip liner oh yes please 
Uh, I'm gonna go back and buy a couple of these. I only bought this one, but oh my god, it was so amazing. I loved it. I totally did. I'm never able to line my lips, and with, with this lip liner, it was so easy to do so. Um, Remy Rose lipstick. Yes, I love the color. It applies so smoothly. It's so soft. The, the, the formula is so amazing. The brushes. Um, $2.99. I'm okay with it. It's not bad. Totally fine. Um, the lashes, they're a flop. I don't like them. They're like too hard on my eyes. They're not really like bendy or able to, or bendable, you can say. Uh, eh, eh. The blush, I like this blush. This blush, it's, I'm gonna keep it in my makeup. This one though, this is cute. I like it. But the best of the highlighters is the Remy Rose one. I should have gone to this one in the first place. Amazing. 3D chromatic lip gloss, it's a flop. I don't like it at all. Mm -mm. Don't even buy it. I didn't try the lip exfoliator today, but I will definitely do that another day and I will upload it to my Instagram or my Facebook. But yeah, today, not today. I didn't, I didn't try this one either, but I will try it in another video. But um, I tried it off camera and it was good, but I wanted to try the other one. So I know it's good, but I will show you guys in another occasion. Remy Rose, this one, it was, no, don't buy it, just don't, don't, don't buy it. Um, Smoky Mirrors, this single eyeshadow color, it was good, I liked it, it's the, the one I have right now. I like it, it's cute. Let's go to the biggest things, okay. Highlighter palette, for $2.99, you might as well go to 3 or $5 and buy the Anelf highlighter. This one is not that great. I mean, for an emergency, if you're close to a 99 cent store, you really need a highlighter and there's nothing else close by. Yeah, sure. Whatever. It's, it's good for that. This contour, it just, we won't even go there. Fuck that. This, uh, the eyeshadow palette. I wasn't in love with the blushes, but the colors, I like them. They were, they're like um, shimmers and I like this one a lot in the black. They went like the black when I was applying it, it wasn't coming off as really pigmented, but I like that because I wasn't trying to go to really dark and pigmented. I was just trying to get a little bit of depth. Uh, I used this one in the inner eye. It's really pretty. And so far, I think that's it, guys. And I really love some of these products. Like I said, some of them are hit, some of them are missed. But so far, this is it. I hope you guys like this video a lot. I like how I look. I mean, I try, I like the highlighter at the end. It was like my favorite part. I feel fabulous. Well, guys, that's my review of these products from the 99 cent store. I really hope you guys like this video. And if you do, please don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up this video. And if you can, please share. I'm trying really hard to make some content for you guys, um, some new ideas. Um, I try to keep it affordable in the affordable products because that's who, who I am. And I feel like I have an audience that likes to do makeup with affordable products and I like to keep doing that. So I love you guys. Bye.